News today, we finally have our first full look at the much anticipated Joker sequel. Warner Brothers sharing the trailer this morning. Yeah, let's bring in our Batman expert, Richard Wilkins, who's come up from the Batcave just to be here. Mm -hmm. This has been a couple of years in the main. We're talking a billion dollar Let's franchise talk. here from the first one. Yeah, look, it looks kind of weird to me, I reckon. I it looks very different. Yeah, I mean, it looks really interesting, don't get me wrong. The film unveiled to exhibitors at CinemaCom in Las Vegas. Joker Folly Adieu is the sequel to the 2019 Joker, the, the, which was the pretty dark adaptation of Batman's famous uh, dark, do you think? nemesis. Yeah, well, yeah. It was Edging. very different to Heath Ledger's, you know, I love oh, Heath's sure. performance so much. But, um, look, he won an Oscar for playing at Joaquin Phoenix. Reprises the role. Lady Gaga debuts as Harley Quinn. Wow. Todd Phillips returns to direct and co-write the script for the sequel set in and around Arkham. Um, look... We've been calling this a musical, right? It is a musical. So, well, they're saying it's not a musical. What? They are saying it's a drama with musical elements. Oh, come on. Which now. to me makes it a musical. But anyway, let's have a look. What's changed, Arthur? Well, I'll tell you what's changed. We aren't alone anymore. That's what we should be talking about. Actually, looks I mean, good, it? <laughs> it looks amazing. I, look, I'm with you. I, the first one left me a little bit cold and a little bit like, this is too dark. Mm. But Joaquin was amazing. But this is a whole new level. With Gaga in it, yeah. I think yeah. this is just going to be so huge. He's phenomenal, Joaquin. Oh, he's just yes. one of the greatest actors of all time yeah. now. Yeah, and if it looks like a musical and it sounds like a musical, I, I say we call it a musical. Let's if it dances it a like a duck. <laughs> <laughs> CinemaCon delivered another movie that's also very much definitely a musical. Well, this is well. very... There's is a it, lot is of this stuff... Is a musical? This is... Well, there's a lot of music in it. I okay. Tell you, 30 <laughs> songs. This is... There's a lot of stuff going on at CinemaCon, including um, news about the Michael Jackson uh, wow. biopic. Now, we, we know that it's titled Michael. They say it's going to be really, really long with over 30 songs in it. They're halfway through production and that will be out next year but 30 of Michael's songs in there of course a controversial character it'll be interesting to see you know how they weight all that stuff but, but it is Antoine Fuqua who directed yeah. the Equalizer films That's who's right. an amazing director so yeah. I, I actually I think this could be faith. quite good. I don't think he's going to pull any punches. No, he won't. Yeah, so that's good. So put a ring around that. Michael uh, coming to big screen. And we spoke to his nephew, right? We did. And his nephew's playing the lead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Robert Pattinson also he, was still in CinemaCon. Is he still there? Is he Michael Jackson? No, he's not Michael Jackson. Oh, no, something different. Um, but we've there's a Batman on. link there. Oh, um, we've moved on. He we've made us keep this up. another one. Yeah, there's lots of stuff <laughs> in CinemaCon. Uh, this is his first red carpet uh, appearance uh, since he became uh, a dad with baby Suki Waterhouse. A he was there dad. to promote uh, this movie, Mickey 17. Uh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice took centre stage at the Warner Brothers Love presentation. That. Michael Keaton says he's seen the film twice and says it is really... Add another word in there, good. And that wow. uh, Ortega is just perfect in the movie and uh, the, the filmmakers got what they were looking for right away. Meantime, Anya Taylor-Joy and Chris Hemsworth presented new clips from the Mad Max movie Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. So they've unveiled that. Dr George Miller and all the gang, there they are, over on the red carpet promoting that. Um, a new clip confirms that Keanu Reeves will have a cameo in the John Wick spin-off wow. starring uh, Ana de Armas called Ballerina. Oh. And uh, finally, on this uh, little part of the segment... There's a bit on. This cinema's extensive. Horror maestro Jason Bloom is revealed Surviving the Blair Witch Project. No way. No thanks. Yeah. No way. Yes. Oh, come on. That was no. a time. No, I never watched it. Do you, was remember a time. All, do you remember we all thought that was real? Well, that's what we were supposed to think. Oh, it was an amazing time. That was a real sort of Too ruse. Scary wasn't it? It, was, it was scary. Wasn't oh, it? it was so good. All that handheld You know spin. I can't do that. I, I, yeah, I'm not big on that stuff either. Oh, cool. I'm too wussy. Too scary. Okay, talk, let's talk music now. Dua Lipa, yep. she has given fans a little taste of her new song. A little taste being the key word, Sylvia. A 10-second teaser of the video for her song Illusion, which is the third single follows Houdini in training season from her third studio album, which is called Radical Optimism. Let's have a little squeeze, just a squeeze.
She is happening. She is happening big time, isn't she, yeah, Dua Lipa? Already that will my be my favorite song of the year. Yeah. Yeah. The song That's will be out later today, so you won't have long to wait for oh, that. Great. Radical <laughs> Optimism, May the third, which is my sister Pip's birthday. Lovely. So there, just sort of oh, throw that one in. She She's known that. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Olivia Rodrigo has <laughs> been bringing a lot of guests on her tour. She's been touring around America, and she's released this, you know. A deluxe version of Guts. Yeah. So who she brought out on, sh well, on her show this time? She's just done four nights at Madison Square Garden oh, in wow. the heart of oh. New York City. Great venue. That's a big deal, playing four sure nights is. there. She brought out surprise guest Jewel, who jo joined her for a run-through of uh, that big hit You Were Meant For Me. Oh, I love that song. Wow. It's a great song. Let's have a listen. It's pretty good. Google their heights <laughs> after seeing this because Jewel looks about a foot taller than her, doesn't she? Uh, I think Olivia Rodrigo's not very tall. Right? Five foot four, and Jewel's at five foot five in the old. Oh, it's not long. So there you go. Okay. Um, yeah, she's brought out a few guests. She had Noah Kahan at the opening uh, Noah Kahan is Madison amazing. Square Garden gig, and Cheryl Crow, of course, in Nashville. Wow. Where they performed. If it makes you she happy, really, which it did, it she made really it everybody. She's honouring the guard that's before her. She does like, that yeah. really well, doesn't yeah. she? So I nice like way of putting it. Nice way of putting it. Very Sticky. nice. Excellent. Thank you. Welcome back. We finally have our first look at the highly anticipated Joker sequel. Warner Brothers dropping the teaser during the CinemaCon in Las Vegas. Have a look at this. Tell us what's changed, Arthur. I'll tell you what's changed. We are alone anymore. That's what we should be talking about. That looks so scary. Joker, Folly Adieu hit cinemas on the 3rd of October. Olivia Rodrigo has celebrated her final New York show with a pretty special surprise. The singer brought out Jewel to sing her 1995 hit, You Were Meant For Me. I love this song. Take a look. Good is that. And finally, we've also used the excuse of forgetting our gym gear to go to get out of a workout, but it turns out that we may not be able to use it anymore. Lenny Kravitz proving that any outfit can be effective at the gym. Life ain't never been better than it is now. Life ain't never been better than it is now. Go shorty! He's working out in leather pants and a mesh tank top. He's so good. Cool. And he's got sunglasses on. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz can do whatever he wants, possible? right? Those <laughs> pants would look very different on me. <laughs> Most people. Like a muffin top. <laughs>